I just walked around, a bunch of you told me some good info. You were thinking like a teacher. I teach elementary school, fifth grade, and then at night I teach uh, college here at Southern New Hampshire. About eight years ago, out of the blue, I started noticing a slight tremor in my left hand. Um, and after a year or so, I went to a neurologist and she gave me some medication and that was doing okay. But then the tremor started increasing some more. And after being on that for about a year or two, cognition was really off. I had trouble with memory, uh, executive functioning, trying to keep things in order. And I said, I have to get off these drugs. I met with the doctors at Leahy. They said I was a prime candidate for DBS, deep brain stimulation surgery. Went in for the procedure. It really was painless, except for a headache, of course, afterwards. I have absolutely no tremor in my left hand. I left uh, Leahy that day, went to Wendy's, and for the first time in probably five years, I could hold a cup without spilling. I could pick up the tray and empty it without dropping it on the floor. I even got emotional because my hand had not stopped tremoring in years. I thought, if anything, it would slow the tremor down. This has been impossible for eight years, for me to hold my fingers together or hold my hand out. It's been impossible for eight years. I'm still getting used to. I used to walk around with my hands in my pockets because after a while the hands would start tremoring, even being still for a while. And now I don't have to do that with my left hand. Yeah, even now my right hand still has the tremors. That's the one I'm waiting to have surgery on. Right now you see the left hand, that's with the DBS, and then the right hand, the uh, frequency uh, increases as you leave it out. I can't write on the board. Um, when I give feedback, and feedback is very important for teachers, uh, students say, I can't read your handwriting still. But now I can hold books in my left hand, or I can point without my hand shaking, and people wondering what I'm pointing at even. I'm 64 and it made me feel 84 years old. So once you've had the surgery, and once everything is plugged in it and it's a go, you know, it really has changed my life. The technology is amazing. It's life-giving, it really is.